Hey there, this is Christine. Thanks for tuning into my Mostly Keto Kitchen. What I wanna talk about today are the different types of sugars that are out there in our foods. And why I wanna share this information with you is because I want you to realize that for the vast majority of the different names of sugar that we have, they are all pretty much the same. So now I'm talking about natural sugars. These are not the artificial sugars or the sugars like erythritol, which can claim to be a natural sugar, but it doesn't. it's not um, used as an energy source by our bodies. So uh, what is sugar? Sugar is mainly sucrose, and sucrose is this molecule right here. And in, when we draw molecules like this, whenever we have a spot like that, kind of in the middle where you've got angles, there's a carbon hiding there, and it just gets to be too messy to try and figure out, you know, draw in all the different carbons. So that's why we use these sticks, stick structures. So the two uh, parts of the sucrose are a glucose, here the G, and a fructose, which is here in the pink. And uh, that's what sucrose is. Now, uh, this gets burned in our bodies, so that's what it means to like burn calories. We're gonna burn this just like you would burn some gasoline in your car. And you could think of this as a hydrocarbon, so meaning there's hydrogens and carbons in it. And yeah, it's got some oxygens in it, but that's okay. It's still, it's basically the carbon and hydrogen part of it that is providing the fuel for you. And uh, so all of these different types of names that I have up here, agave, beet sugar, cane juice, high fructose corn syrup, fruit juice concentrate, table sugar, honey, maltose, maple syrup, palm sugar, dextrose, rice syrup, molasses, and then there's many, many more. There's actually like 61 or more, I think that was from a UCSF site, saying like how many different names we have in our food system for sugars these days. And uh, for the vast majority of the, these, they are basically just, a, just sucrose. Or if they're not just sucrose, they're a combination of just the glucose by itself and the fructose by itself. So for example, honey, honey is 38% fructose and 31% glucose, and they are actually split apart already. And there's maybe about 1% sucrose that's in the honey. So um, fructose, this guy here, so the F, that's the one that's super sweet. And that's why the food manufacturers use corn syrup, and they have a couple different types of corn syrup. And I put these 42 and 55 up here. This is for 42% fructose, and the other one is 55% fructose. So 42 is the stuff that ends up going into a lot of baked goods, and it's a little bit less sweet because it has only 42% fructose in it. 55% has is much sweeter, and that's what gets put into pop sodas and fruit juice, um, you know, sort of fruit juices that have a lot of extra corn syrup in them. So um, that's all it is. So what I really want to point, we, you know, high fructose corn syrup gets this really bad rap, right? We all think, oh, that's terrible. Don't eat stuff that has it. Have something with honey in it instead. And you're like, okay, wait a minute here. But the honey is the same. It's got glucose and fructose, and it's got a higher percentage of fructose than it does the glucose. And it is it's pure sugar, so it's got some other stuff. It's got something called maltose in it, and maltose is two glucoses, so two of these guys stuck together. But, you know, we're, it, chemically, it's, it's all the same. It's all sort of the same language. And uh, same thing's true for maple syrup and uh, the fruit juice concentrate. Both of those are just gonna be sucrose primarily. And yeah, you get some extra flavors. I mean, maple syrup, I love it. It's super delicious. It's got extra stuff in there that gives it that nice flavor. Uh, but it, uh, you know, and same thing with the fruit juice concentrate. That's gonna have some extra flavor that comes from the fruit. Maybe a few more vitamins in it, you know, fruit juice concentrate would, but you know, you can't be looking to something like fruit juice concentrate for, um, it's not a healthy source of anything really, other than just some calories. And those calories are sugar calories. And as I've talked about in some of the other videos, sugar can be a problem for some people. So, uh, you know, it's good to be you know, informed about this sort of thing. I did have one other thing I wanna mention. So down here, molasses is almost, like the different guy out of all the rest of these. Now, molasses is still primarily sucrose, so it is this. However, it does have a fair number of vitamins in it, so it's got a lot of, and actually some minerals too, it's got some a high amount of B6 and some manganese and magnesium. And so, you know, as far as sugars go, it's got more nutrient value to it, but, you know, if you go and eat a handful of almonds and have half an avocado, you're gonna get more of the B6 and the magnesium and the manganese 
than the maple syrup would, or sorry, the molasses would have given you anyway. So you can't really look to molasses as being some you know, source of vitamins because you're getting sugar along with it. Now, again, for a lot of people, having some extra sugar, not a big deal in their lives. But for some people, sugar is a problem. And, uh, and so we want to stay away from, you know, to, to be healthy. So, uh, and then my parting comment I'd like to say is that tomorrow we'll talk about the different roles in the body that the fructose follows versus the glucose. And that's some really interesting biochemistry because once the sucrose gets into the body and it splits into the two parts, those two parts, the glucose and the fructose, they end up doing different things. And um, that's where some of the health issues come in. All right, thanks for watching.